In this video, we're going to look at peripheral nerves in cross section. So if you imagine what a nerve would normally look like in its longitudinal section, we've now taken a cross section and that's what we're looking at here. So what you can see in this view, which is the 40x view, is we can see multiple fascicles and these are these circular enclosed structures that are groups of many axons. So that's what we're looking at here is the axons themselves. We can also see some of the connective tissue coverings that help to keep this nerve safe and keep all of the anatomical structures together. So one of these is here. That is the epineurium, the outermost covering of a nerve that collectively covers all of the fascicles. And then each fascicle is surrounded by its own perineurium. That's perineurium. Here's some nice perineurium and then here's some more. Here, we're comparing the 40x and the 100x view. So you can still see there are venules on either, in each of them. And the venule is a small vein that's there to carry away blood that's had nutrients removed from it and oxygen removed from it. There is a small arterial here, a small artery, and the corresponding one is over here. We can still see some of the epineurium and then we can see a closer view of perineurium which does actually go all the way around that fascicle and then the perineurium over here is right there And in this last view, we can see the axons really close up. So if we take a look at this one, that outermost covering is an endoneurium. And you can see it on several of the others as well, even though this is a slightly blurry version. You can see it here. Deep to that, the white that you see is some myelin and at the very core the dark dot you see is the nucleus of the axon and remember since these are peripheral nerves that we've seen their job is to send and receive signals from the peripheral nervous system from the receptors and then from body parts back to the spinal cord so that that information can either be processed as a reflex or it can go up to the brain for more complex processing. 